relationship with her. How long have you known her? From 92 onwards. 1992 onwards I know her. That's a long time. Can you remember the first time you met her? Yes. What was it like? I met her in Chennai. Yes. Yes. She was introduced by my sister, Sarada Hoffman. And they had arranged a darshan in Kovilur Mutt branch. At Chennai. Right. But she was not known at that time. Very few people knew her. And the darshan was just for 15 people, it was like that. Right. That was the first time I saw her. Okay. And she came to the rise. I was amazed with her appearance, the grace, the glory, and everything. There was a halo around her. Did you see it? And when I saw her, I felt as though I was seeing our goddess Minakshi in her, the ruling deity of Mother Earth. She was just like that. She appeared to me like that. Really? So you could see the light around her? Yes. Wow, that's a beautiful experience. Yes. Then I was, I, mean, I was just silent. I couldn't talk. I was so silent for half an hour. Um, Adrishmi auntie was just near me. Only after her, actually it was from a trance like this, she woke me up. Then we went to the other room and talked to her. Right. Wow, that's a beautiful experience. After that, I met her often in my sister's house yes. whenever she came to Chennai. Okay. So we became very close like that. Right. Can you share some of the experiences you had with her? Can you tell us about some of the beautiful From then on it has been a family circle for us. Yes. Being my eldest brother and sister, all I have known her for the last 40 years or more. Right. So our relationship has been very close all the time. Yes. Talk to and I read all her books and came to know about her glory and the love she has for everybody in the world. Right. That's how I'm close to mother nowadays. Whenever we have any problem, any situation that requires help, we would ask her and she was solving the problems. Even for small things, she will advise. Like that it goes on. Right. There are certain experiences, certain experiences which I couldn't forget. Once we were traveling in the train, we couldn't get a bus. The tickets were available only for the upper berth, and I couldn't climb that. I was worried how to manage the long travel. Amma, what to do us? We were just talking like that. Suddenly, Amma gave a call from Germany, just imagine from Germany, and we were at Madurai. You don't worry, you'll get a proper seat. and somebody will offer you comfortable place. The same way, within five minutes, TTR came and he arranged the lower berth for me and my younger sister. It is remarkable because you just sit 
think about her and you get the help. It has been like that in all the situations, everything. And there are many like that, with all our problems, sickness, anything that we, we think of her, we call her and she will assist us, help. She is omnipotent, omnipresent, and so we feel her nearness all the time. Tell us about another Pardon? Tell us about another experience you had with her, another miracle you experienced with her. In the front hall, anybody passed by the road, they could see through the door her picture. So many people came and asked me, who is that lady? Why are you having this hymn? That they, they felt that they want to see her and something gracious about her, something sparkling from the eyes. And they came inside, saw that they started worshipping then and there itself. And that lady had many problems. Her husband was very sick, bedridden, and they had no earnings. She immediately started sitting there itself and prayed. And we gave, we gave her a picture of Amma and she took, it, she took it there and put in the puja room and prayed. Within a week, the bedridden patient was able to walk. Some miracle. Her son got a job also. Like that, many people. Whenever people come asking for something, or when they have sufferings, they tell us it. In that instance, we give the picture of mother and ask them to pray, and they get the help. Many commoners, we mostly approach only the poor people and the common people, because they need Amma's help, because they don't have anybody. In another case, one girl's marriage was fixed, everything was arranged and they had to borrow some money. But the lender couldn't give the money at all and they were in a fix. Everything was arranged, the marriage, all, all the things. They were very upset and the girl came and cried. And I gave, same way I gave her the picture and the book that I had translated. In Tamil. I gave the book and all. The overnight she uh, did puja for Rama. And the next morning, the lender who had refused to give the money, he himself came and offered and asked them to use it and take their own time to return it. Some miracle, Samar's blessings. Now she visits Samar also. Once, when I was very sick, with severe cold, cough and fever, and with sort of fits like things, my sister followed up to Amma in Germany, and she was worried whether it would become very serious also. And Amma immediately called and consoled me, and gave me strength to bear all the pain. And she said, you will be all right tomorrow. Don't worry. You have to go to the doctor and get medicine. And she, what I will say that she consoled me a lot. The next day, the same thing happened. I went to the doctor and she said, you are all right. No need of uh, any more medicines. And I prayed to Amma and I was all right within three days. Nobody could believe that because it was so severe. It was Amma's grace that treated. I feel the grace every time. The other last week, no, when I came 
this time to Mar Madanapalli. The third day I was in the Darshan Hall praying and looking at her. Suddenly I could see the light, Amma's the light, the halo around her and it just enlarged and she was in a grotto form of light embracing her. She was so bright, I just can't express the feeling. It's a remarkable experience for me. Then soon after the person was over, I ran to her. I did pranams and she blessed me. And you are the fourth person to have this vision and appearance, she said. I was so, what to say, the happiness and the peace that I enjoyed. Well, one thing we can do is, whenever people come with a problem, when they say they tell us about their worries and all that, we could guide them, we could tell them about such experiences and grace of mother. Like that we can spread her power. The world mother is there always, ever present, everywhere. Let us all think about Amma as the Divine Light, the super, Supreme Power and the World Mother who has come down to emancipate all the sufferings. I pray to her and always remember that she is here, there and everywhere to help all the suffering people, each and every individual. The Divine Light and as Cardinal Newman says, we must follow her in every way. Lead kindly light, lead thou me on, amidst the dark and circling gloom. Lead thou me on. The night is dark. I am far away from home. Lead thou me on. And Divine Mother Mira will lead us on to the bright light. She is the Divine Light, bringing up power and light from Paramatma. She herself is the Paramatma. We must all have faith, trust and deep love and hope for everything that is good from Mama. Mama will bless us, Mama will take care of us, Mama will lead us. The Lead kindly light, lead thou me on.